What's going on everybody? It's Eric Rayweather back here and in today's video I'm gonna be going over the five things that no longer work in Madden 20 Normally I do this video before the game is released based off the information we have about the game or possibly playing the game in an early stage But this year I decided to wait till the game was out play it for a good bit of time And now I'm ready to give you my five things that no longer work in Madden 20 so the first thing I want to talk about, number one on the list, is you can no longer sit in a cover two defense all game anymore. Now for the past few years, cover two has been one of the more viable defensive coverages in the game, but this year it's just not very good. Now yes, zone defense overall isn't as good this year, but the pass rush being a lot better does make up for it. But when we're talking about a cover two specifically, the reason you don't want to run this too much this year is because the cloud flats are not very good. They easily allow routes to get over the top of their head, but they also don't defend anything in the hard flat area good either. They're supposed to defend the intermediate area very well, like corner routes for example. So if you see here, we have Thielen on this corner route. Now typically in past years Maddens, the cloud flat would shut this down and it would force you to check it down underneath, but this year he's not going to defend the corner or the flat. So I'm going to show you exactly what I mean right here. You're going to notice it's all about timing, but Thielen's going to easily get over his head because you could see Josh Norman kind of just stands in a no man's land area where he's not defending anything really well. He's just standing there. In years past, he would have been able to get back there and shut down that corner route. The only corner routes that would get over the top of Cloud Flats and Pass Maddens were the ones that ran really, really deep. But as you could see, I mean, we took a big hit by Landon Collins there. But as you could see, Josh Norman is literally nowhere to be found when defending this corner route. And this is a standard corner route. It's not one of those corner routes that run super deep. It is a standard corner route that you could find in every formation pretty much in the game. And Josh Norman cannot defend it. So he can't defend that. But if we decide to check it down, maybe the pass rush is crazy or something. And I mean, look how much he's giving up in the hard flat. We're picking up seven yards in the hard flat as well. So he's not doing either very well. And that's why cover two defense is bad this year. Now I'm going to show another example on the other side of the field. We're going to have Diggs run his route to about the first down marker. We're going to have a swing route coming underneath. So this is basically just a curl flat concept. And you're going to notice again, the cloud flat's not going to defend either at all. Look, we could throw this route because the cloud flat does drop back with it to, you know, a certain degree, but then it just leaves it be. It just lets it keep, at a certain point, it just lets the route go when it comes down to try to defend the hard flat, but it's late. It's not defending either very well. So again, watch. We throw it, and look, easy for Diggs. Absolutely easy. No one even close enough to put a big hit on him. He's just catching it, going down for a solid gain. But now if we wanted to throw it to Cook here in the flat, you're going to see we can do that as well. We can get it to the flat. He got a bad animation there and still got about six yards. He got the little spin catch animation that actually slows his progress down, and he was still able to pick up five to six yards in the flat. So that's why cover two is just not viable this year, because the, the strength of the cover two is supposed to be those two guys, at least in Madden terms, those cloud flats on the outside were always good because it forced you to check it down and not throw those deep sideline routes that people like to throw. But this year, they don't defend either well, so there's really no reason to sit in a cover two all game. Maybe you mix it in here or there, but you want to be very careful when using cover two in Madden 20. Number two on the list is you can no longer hold on to the ball for long periods of time anymore. In the past Maddens, many people would just hold on to the ball for four to five seconds of play, sometimes even longer on occasion, because they wanted to hit the deep routes. They wanted to hit the 20 plus yard routes every play. And you simply just cannot do that in Madden 20 because the pass rush has been turned up, specifically when you go up against those superstar pass rushers, like we're about to do here in a second. As you can see, Demarcus Lawrence is on the other side of the ball. And pass rushers of his caliber are going to cause nightmares for you if you hold on to the ball too long. You have to take your checkdowns a lot lot more often this year or you're gonna take sacks every few plays or so so we're gonna run a few plays here on offense and we're gonna show you exactly what I mean so right here we actually have a lot of time and we're able to complete the deep route we hit it and in pass Maddens against a basic pass rush you could do that every single time but I'm gonna show you eventually you're gonna see Demarcus Lawrence is going you see how he got to a super quick that time with the pass rush move and you're saying okay well that's two plays he got you one play the other play you got him but if you do this time and time again you're gonna see that typically Demarcus Lawrence or somebody else is gonna get to you so that time we actually got the pressure right up the middle from a guy who's not even considered a superstar pass rusher in the game. He's just a regular defensive lineman, and he was able to shed the blocks quick. Now, look at Demarcus Lawrence here. Look how quick he came, because I'm waiting for that post 
route to get open deep but I need about four seconds for that to happen and now what's even worse is once a guy of Mark uh, Demarcus Lawrence's caliber gets a couple sacks on you then he gets in the zone and now he's gonna just instantly blow off this guy pretty much every single time I'm trying to hit this X route and I simply can't hit it and you're saying well you should be able to hit deep routes that happens in real life and yes it's true but it doesn't happen every single play you need to take your check down so see here I'm taking my check down I got four to five yards and I can live to see another down and I have to do this to get Demarcus Lawrence out of the zone now because he's going to stay into the in the zone until I pick up a certain amount of yards so now I'm just kind of dumping it down to my check down and I'm just living to fight another down but if I want to just keep holding on to the ball as you can see now he's out of the zone so now he won't be super overpowered but he's still going to get good pass rush on us consistently as you can see here again he's getting to us I'm trying to hit that X receiver and it's just not happening so in order to hit those deep routes this year you have to take them when you're able to take them you can't try to hit them every play and if you want to stop these pass rushers maybe we you know we put a running back on this side of the field and we say hey we're gonna block him uh, you know, maybe we take our defensive line and we shift it to the Marcus Lawrence's side just to try to help us, you know, hold him up for just a little bit longer. And as you can see, we did that and now we were able to hit the deep route. So there are ways that you can kind of fight off those superstar pass rushers, but just a general uh, tip for you this year is you don't want to hold on to the ball all day long because as you saw, you're going to take a lot of sacks this year if you do that. Number three on the list kind of goes hand in hand with number two. But I wanted to talk about this one specifically because it's been a big pain point for many years to Madden fans and something I've seen complained about a lot in my comment section on a daily basis. And that is the fact that you can no longer just spam deep crossing routes every play. Now the deep crossing routes will still get open if you have time, but just like we talked about in part two, the pass rush being better does not allow this to happen. And what happened here was an actual coach went down to EA and when those guys go to EA, you know, the gameplay guys will show them things that are popular in Madden and say, you know, what would you do to combat this? And when they talked about the deep crossing routes, what the coach told them was that, well, if you have all day to throw that route, it's going to get open at some point. There's no zone in the game that's going to stop a route that's crossing the entire field. The difference is in real life, quarterbacks don't have four to five seconds to wait for that route to cross the field and find that open window. They usually get to the quarterback much quicker than that on an every play basis. So that's one of the reasons why the pass rush was turned up this year in Madden. So if you see here, if we want to hit this crossing route, it'll get open. But the thing is, will we have the time to hit it? That's the thing. As you can see, we're trying to hit it. And again, when you have somebody like a Demarcus Lawrence or, you know, it could be, a, you know, J.J. Watt, you know, a Khalil Mack, you know, you know, the guys, the, the really good pass rushers, they're not going to let you hit those routes every play now. Now, sometimes right here, we did get the time and we was able to hit it for, well, we kind of overthrew the ball, but you saw it was open. We would have got close to the goal line on that there, which is fine. You should be able to hit them every once in a while. Just like in real life, you do see those deep crossing routes that get hit from time to time. But the thing is, in Madden, you were able to do it every single play. And now, you're not really able to do that. Now, yes, that was two plays in a row that we were able to get it open. But you're going to see, just like we did in the first, you know, couple clips earlier, you can see here once again... Here comes Demarcus Lawrence just absolutely destroying our day. So if your goal is to sit there and hit those deep crossing routes every play, that's not a viable option this year. And now you see, once again, Demarcus Lawrence is in the zone. So you know what? Now we definitely can't hit the deep crossing route. We're trying, but he's just getting to us way too quick. So... If you're a person that has trouble stopping those deep crossing routes, you definitely want to make sure that you're using teams that have superstar pass rushers because they're going to make it very hard for your opponent to sit back there all day and wait for these routes to come open. As you can see, when you get a guy like Demarcus Lawrence going, you're not hitting crossing routes anymore. Number four on the list are toss plays. Now, the tosses have been one of the best types of runs in the past few Maddens. They absolutely destroy defenses and they were just a pain to defend. Now, this year in Madden 20, they're not very good. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you can't still have a successful toss play or take one to the house or that there aren't a few decent toss plays in the game, but overall, the majority of the toss plays in the game just suck now because it just takes a lot longer to get the ball into the running back's hands. It's like they slowed down the animation of the actual pitch going from the quarterback to the running back. And it just kind of allows you to not really get out into the open field as often or as quick as you would want to. Now, of course, just because I'm talking about how bad they are, on the first clip, we actually took it for a solid gain. But as I run this a few times, you're going to see that a lot of times we're not going to gain yards. And 
another reason because of this is it seems like the blocking on toss runs overall are just not as good this year as you can see again we're not really able to do anything we have a little bit of a crease there but we're not quite able to hit it because of the delay of the ball getting to the running back's hands like if the ball was getting to me as quickly as it normally would have in the past Maddens I could probably hit that crease right there every play and get a good game but as you could see not only is the blocking very bad on this run but it's just delayed in getting the ball into the running back's hands and believe it or not this I form close toss is actually one of the better tosses in the game and, and you could see the blocking plus the delay it just does not really allow me to get where I need to go even though this is like I said one of the better toss plays in the game they're just stuffing me pretty much every play on it so just be mindful of that this year you might find a couple of good toss plays maybe in your playbook that work a little bit better but overall you're going to want to stay away from these runs instead you're going to want to focus on halfback stretch runs and things like that when you want to get those big play runs to the outside this year and last but not least, number five, and I apologize, I don't actually have a lot of clips of this to show other than this previous clip from an earlier gameplay, but after playing the game for a while, I can definitely confirm that user controlling linebackers is not the move this year. They have been nerfed and it's very hard to get interceptions with them unless you are right up on the landing spot of the ball and typically you have to be facing the quarterback which I actually like and I think it's realistic. No longer can you be kind of trailing a receiver by a couple yards and get that jumping animation where you catch the ball over your shoulder which is really good because that's not realistic. You don't see linebackers make those kind of interceptions in real life. That is extremely hard to do to jump and catch an over the shoulder interception with your back to the quarterback when you're not even 100% sure when the ball's coming out so now this year if you have a linebacker yes the more athletic ones are a little bit easier to use or control but you really need to be right on the landing spot of the ball to get those interceptions otherwise you're kind of going to whiff on trying to get the interception usering safeties is definitely a lot better than linebackers this year because those guys are more athletic and can cover more ground you'll be able to get more interceptions with them than you'll typically get with linebackers this year so that's it. Those are the five things that no longer work in Madden. Let me know below if you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.